All right. Hey, welcome back to Tito's Barbecue Channel, um, Christmas Kitchen. This week it's Good Friday, so happy Good Friday, everybody. Have a happy Easter. Be safe. Um, and let me go ahead and get it out of the way. Remember to like and subscribe click the little bell so that you get your reminders and feel free to share these videos share our channel let's see if we can blow this thing up a little bit and and get the word out make this thing grow because we're having a great time doing it for you guys and uh, we we really enjoy making all y'all part of of what we're doing so this weekend we're doing brisket um, so first thing we're going to do is mix up our brisket rub and we're starting with uh, starting with two cups of coarse ground black pepper and then we're going to add one cup of salt and a half cup of granulated garlic and that is it that is our brisket seasoning this is one of those little herb shaker caps for the ball jars these things are awesome for this kind of stuff and all we're going to do is put our lid on and we're just going to shake him around get it mixed up and the next thing for us to do is to season our brisket so I'll get the brisket set up and we'll bring you right back all right well uh, we've got our seasoning mixed up uh, got our brisket laying here I'm gonna start with the fat side up and we're just gonna gonna give him a give him a good sprinkle don't be scared and then uh, we're gonna work our way around get all the sides We're going to go pretty heavy on the top. This is going to just, this brisket is just going to suck this right in. And all of this salt, pepper, and garlic is going to find its way into that meat. And what we're going to do now is we're going to, I'm going to wrap him up in this foil, take another piece so I get him good and tight and put it in the refrigerator and we're going to let it sit overnight and fire up the cooker in the morning and get him going so we'll see you bright and early well good morning uh, we've had our brisket in the refrigerator overnight it's six o'clock in the morning dana's out getting a pit fired up so I wanted to go ahead and start uh, letting you guys see what we've got going here this morning. Give you a look at this brisket and then we'll take you out and we'll get it on the pit. All right, well, let's get this thing uncovered so you guys can take a look at him. Oh, look at that. See how it, it's pulled that, that pepper and salt in, pulled that garlic in. All you see left on top is just a, just a nice coat of black pepper. 
So we're gonna I'm gonna take a little bit of our seasoning and I'm gonna we're gonna put just a just a little bit back on the top here so that we got good fresh seasoning to cook in as this meat starts to wet while it uh, sweats and cooks. So we're ready to go out on the pit. We'll see you out there in just a few minutes. All right, uh, we're out at the pit. We're ready to get our brisket on and going. So. Let's put him on and let him start doing this thing. I'm just going to take him, lay him right in there. And I've already got my temp probes run out. So we'll see. We'll check him again in a few hours. See you guys in a little while. All right, guys. Well, our brisket's been on for uh, about five and a half hours now. We've uh, we've hit an internal temp of 185. So now we're gonna wrap. So let's get the the cooker open. Uh, there we go. if we can straighten out our foil a little bit. All right. Slide that probe out of there for the time being. All right. It's looking pretty good. You can see all of that pepper that's on there. See how the um, that's kind of opened up to accept it looking pretty good let's get him wrapped up gonna wrap him good and tight set that probe in a minute <laughs> then uh, I'm gonna reset our probe and pull him off when we hit 203 degrees so we'll see you here in a little bit after it hits 203 degrees uh, we're gonna wrap it in a towel let it rest for about an hour hour and a half and then uh, We'll open him up and let you guys see what we got. So see you then. All right, guys. Well, our brisket has had about an hour and 20 minute rest. I made a couple of quick slices on it to see what it looks like. I'll let you see for yourself. We'll make a couple of slices and uh, then I'll finish it up and uh, let you see the finished product. Look at that smoke ring, guys. And if you doubt it, look at that. Folds over your finger without breaking and comes right, right apart. That's what you want. Right there. Easy tub. All right, I'm going to slice some more of this and we'll bring you back in just a minute. All right, guys. Well, I got it sliced up and we uh we've got a beautiful smoke ring in this stuff and it's it's just pull apart tender it's got a an excellent flavor so now you guys know a good brisket seasoning recipe you know the temperatures 
get out and give it a whirl. You can do it on a Weber. You can do it on any any grill. Just cook it over indirect heat. And you can turn out a brisket just like this. Thanks again, guys, for joining us today and spending some time with us. Uh, remember to like, subscribe, share any and all of these videos. And until next time, thank you.